Hey guys, AY Electronics Ahmed here. Today I am back with another project and this time I will show, I'll be showing you guys how to sync LEDs to music. So the parts needed for this build are uh, a breadboard or if you are planning on making this project permanent like I am, we will be using this earth board. We will need two bottle of waters or three or four, however many you want. We will need some highlighters to color the water. We will need a TIP 31C transistor or as I am using the D235 transistor. I have experimented with many different types of transistors and I found that the D235 gives out the best results. We will need this connector here in order to be able to listen to the music which is being displayed on the, uh, on the LEDs. We will need this 3.5 mm mail jack and two wires to solder inside of it uh, if you do not already have pre-soldered wires. We will need some blue or white LEDs depending on what you want. And last but not least we will be needing some jumper wires. So uh, I will first be showing you guys uh, the schematic and uh, an explanation of how the circuit works and then we will move on to the build. So let's get started. All right, guys. So you see here the pin out of the tip 31 c transistor, this is basically when we are looking at it this way. So this is the base, collector and diameter. So in the schematic, let's first draw the schematic. This is our tip 31 c here. And the D235 actually has the exact same pin out as the tip 31 so you just remove the tip 31 and place your D D235 if you are using the same one as me. Anyways, so this is the base, the collector, and the emitter. Here we have our LEDs, in my case two LEDs, connected to the VCC of the 9 volts battery. This is connected to the ground of the 9 volts battery. If we actually connect the base to our music player using our 3.5 millimeters male jack, this will basically look something like that. So this is the left or right channel. Here we have our ground, which will go also to the ground of the 9 volts battery. So when we play music of a certain frequency here, the base will open and close the connection between the collector and the emitter at the exact same frequency at which the music is playing, which will cause us to see the flashing of the LEDs at this same exact same frequency. So uh, this is basically how the schematic works, it's very easy, so music comes in, it opens and closes the bases at a certain frequency which will cause the LEDs to flash at the same frequency. So let's actually, uh, actually build this uh, circuit and let's get started. Alright guys, so let's first build our circuit. I'll be using only this small piece of the PCB, will not be needing the whole thing. So I'll put this aside. I will start by soldering my D235 transistor in place and I will put it here Next, I will be soldering wires onto this main jack as I will be using these two wires The long one is the ground and the other two are the channels I will be connecting first the ground and then the red wire to one of the channels mm main jack ready. Now I will solder it onto the transistor. So now the, the jack is connected. Now I, uh, I will connect the 9 volts battery connector. Alright guys, so I finished uh, building this schematic we talked about earlier. So basically I connected the uh, ground of the 3.5 mm mail jack to the emitter of the transistor and the ground of this 9 volts battery connector also to the emitter of the transistor and then I connected one of the channels to the uh, base of the transistor and I am leaving this uh, positive uh, wire of the 9 volts connector uh, free for now since it will be connected directly to the LEDs so now let's pre uh, prepare our LEDs to do that I will be poking two holes on the top of this cover. I will basically be using 
two LEDs on each bottle to give it more brightness. And to poke the holes, I will simply use this screwdriver. And then I'm going to use a pair of scissors to widen up the holes so that they can house the LEDs. Alright guys, so uh, I've already fitted the LEDs in place. They have to be uh, as tight as possible in order to reduce the water leak as much as possible. I will be connecting the two positive leads together and the two grounds together. Uh, I will basically be connecting the two LEDs on the same bottle in parallel and then the two bottles in series, which will then be connected to the, uh, to the circuit. So let's solder these LEDs together. And then I will be using some gun glue in order to seal everything and the water will not leak out. Alright guys, so this is it for the first cap. I will solder two wires onto these LEDs and then I will repeat the same thing onto the other cap. Alright guys, so now the LEDs are ready. Now it's time to add some color to the wall. So let's do that. So to do this, uh, I will be using uh, the highlighter fluid in, inside of these highlighters. And to extract that fluid, I will be shaking the highlighters as hard as I can. And then some highlighter fluid will go into the cap, which I will then pour into the water bottle. So let's do that. very careful while opening the top because the highlighter fluid might come flying out. Alright guys, so there is some highlighter fluid in there. I will put that in place. I'm going to need a lot more than this so I will do some more. Alright guys, so the first button is ready. I'll be using yellow highlighter for the second one. The yellow highlighter actually looks very nice while uh, it's uh, diffusing in the wood. Alright guys, so this is it. I will get, uh, give the highlighter some time to diffuse and then we will be ready to connect it. So now the two bottles are ready, I will connect them to the circuit. So the circuit is now ready. I, will, I have actually decided that I am going to tape it uh, onto the bottles which will be taped together so that everything will be portable and easy to do. Alright guys, so now we are ready for the first test. I will connect the battery and then I will play some music and we will see what will happen. I have everything set up here. Now I'm going to play some music from my laptop and everything should work. Alright guys, so this is the end of this video, please leave a like, leave a comment telling me what you think I should do next and don't forget to subscribe, see you guys later.